Panel for Hope is in its seventh year of running events to help people who have been affected by cancer. They have raised more than $350,000 for cancer rehabilitation so far. Now this year, they've teamed up with extreme water sport event Waterborne, which will be taking place at Easter weekend. Welcome to the cafe, Karen Horan and Lawrence Carey. Thank so you. Nice to have you both here. Thank you for having us back here. Let's start with yeah. you first, Corinne. Um, you've got a very personal journey with breast yeah. cancer. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was 26 for the first time with breast cancer, um, and it returned when I was 40. So um, it's about five years ago, and I'm still going through a reconstruction. About eight procedures so far, so it's a long journey. Yeah. It is a long journey, and you've got yeah. kids obviously as well yeah. and family. Three little girls. Um, my eldest is 10, coming 11, um, and a six year old, seven year old. So, three little girls that, you know, have been witnessing this whole journey. Mm. Yeah. And you obviously want to stick around for them for a very yeah, long definitely, time. Definitely, definitely. I'll come back to that in a minute, yes. actually, what you've been doing to help for okay. our fundraise. Now, Lawrence, you are a professional windsurfer and you founded the Waterborne Windsurf Series, um, but you also have experienced cancer firsthand, haven't you? Yep. Tell me about that. So, um, when I was a lot younger, I had a bit of an uh, issue with it in my stomach for a while. And this went for an exploratory and basically found out that I had a tumour on my appendix um, and then ever since then I've sort of just battled on to sort of live every day and then since then I've sort of become a professional athlete, travelling around the world doing what I love and it sort of shows I guess that you can have little lows and stuff but the moment you have a low you just bail it out and do what you want to do. So how old were you when you first, when you got cancer? Uh, I think I was, oh I was 14, right. um, yeah so still at school just a little, a little mini ripper and um, mm. yeah, since then I've got a lot bigger and... Obviously. Yeah. That must have been quite a, a tough time because it's hard enough as a 14 year old boy, full stop, but then getting, having to battle cancer as well. Yeah, I guess at the time I didn't really battle, I didn't really feel like it was anything too major because nothing really was too big for me. Mm. So like it was, I was just the little guy that used to have a big brother that used to just beat me up all the time. <laughs> so um, <laughs> to get that it was sort of just like, I didn't actually know it was there and I just kept going, I kept going in and out, in and out and then um, eventually they were like, sweet, that's all sorted and then obviously after a few years of checkups it was all, all clear. So. You have to keep having checkups now? Or no, you, no, 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 I'm, I'm, all, I'm all sweet. Well, that's awesome. So yeah. tell me a little bit about the Waterborne event in Wellington this Easter weekend. Yeah, so basically I, I've always wanted to run an event in New Zealand which was of like the same status of overseas. Um, so last year I ran the first one. And then this year it's sort of quadrupled in size. It's now substantial um, pick up in terms of the event. It brings in kite surfing, windsurfing, and stand up paddleboarding. Where uh, we decided to collaborate with um, the Paddle for Hope and get the general public down to the beach and enjoy the atmosphere. So instead of just having as well the, the windsurfing and the stand up, um, the windsurfing, kite surfing, and stand up paddleboarding, we've also got live music at the beach where it starts from one o'clock with a whole basic beach party which carries on with um, headline musicians including wow. the lead singer of Cora, Lord cool. and Cora and Dick Johnson. So. That sounds great. Well, logistics behind that I can only imagine. Yeah. Um, Corinne, Paddle for Hope, Paddle that's going to be at Waterbourne this year. Now yes. you were a big part of setting this up, the co-founder. Tell me a little bit about the program and why you decided to get it started. So um, I'm a fitness instructor as well as other things and uh, I fell in love with the sport when I came to New Zealand. I didn't know many people, I didn't know much about the sport. When I got on the water I immediately felt the difference and, and what it did to my body versus other, other sports that I've done before, if it was swimming or, or just going to the gym and trying to get myself fit. Mm. It just uses all your muscles, all your body and when you glide on the water you just forget about everything. So I said to myself, wouldn't it be amazing to give that feeling to others who have gone through cancer as well and that's how it all came about. It's wonderful too because yeah. they rehabilitate out in the water, yes. they've gone through treatments and that's Correct. how they can help get fit and well again. Yeah, it's amazing. So we've teamed up with uh, Lou James, uh, Pink and Steel Rehabilitation Trust and her physios and, it, and the trailer just goes around New Zealand and helps people after cancer get a better quality of life. And the vitamin D, uh, better confidence for sure after battling cancer or even going through cancer, um, getting your, your stamina back, um, even core strength yeah. and mobility, range of movement is, is all about, it all goes 
on the board with those physiotherapists and the smile on their faces yeah. is just amazing. Oh, it's so good to yeah, be on the water. It's on a amazing board. to be on the water. It's one of my favourite places in yeah, the world. Yeah, it's therapeutic, you know, and, and it's it's a, it's the best way to, to kind of put those worries aside yeah. and share the journey with other cancer patients. Now, Lawrence, you, are, you obviously are a windsurfer. Tell me a little bit about your career. Um, yeah, so I've represented New Zealand for the last three years. Um, I basically was sailing for a, like a while whilst playing rugby and then moved into windsurfing and kind of wanted a little bit more adrenaline than what I was getting. Um, and basically from there, I just kept on going. I went to the Worlds when I was 17 um, and then basically went to uni and was competing whilst as much as I could. And then the day I finished my final uni exam, I flew to Hawaii and basically have just been representing ever since. So how on earth do you find time to organise these events as well then? Uh, it's just... At well, night time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, need to we like, communicate yeah. at about yeah. 1 o'clock a.m. Yeah. and yeah. you know we we need to, to yeah. I mean no, the I fundraising think... and everything to do with this event and he's been doing a great job is just collaborating with others as well yeah. and bringing others and then at night time and, mm. and, and pedal boarding and... So yeah surfing. I guess it's just yeah. um, when you've got for me, it's been something I've really wanted to do and I've always wanted to sort of show how amazing the sport is and, and mm. do as much as I can to promote it. So yeah. basically an event of this scale has never really been done in New Zealand before. So it's something I've always wanted to do. And I mean, teaching the young kids especially is something yeah. really cool and bringing in all the sports together is something really yeah. Unique and special, which I'm real stoked to be Even able to do. Even while they're really young. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be fantastic. Well done, both of you. It's amazing. Looking forward to it. I know Waterbourne runs in Eastbourne Lower Hut this Easter weekend, and Paddle for Hope will be part of it. It's on the 31st of March. You can check out the Waterbourne website for details or the Paddle for Hope Facebook page.